For a while, we've had to fight collar decline on golf courses. And we weren't always sure why it was happening. We could blame it on a lot of different factors like traffic and poor soils. But last year, we were able to show that our plant growth regulator programs that we use to increase plant health and control things like annual bluegrass could actually be leading to some of the collar decline symptoms that we're seeing in the field. So what we wanted to do was do an experiment where we would apply our PGRs to fairway high grass. This case is creeping bank grass, mowed at uh, four tenths of an inch, but we applied it at putting green intervals. We applied to uh, this trip here, which is trivet at 260 growing degree days, base zero Celsius. Uh, then we have a strip here, no PGRs were applied. In this front strip, we applied Primo Max at five and a half ounces per acre every 200 growing degree days. And sure enough, after just a couple weeks of making these applications, we start to see some discoloration and some decline in the quality of the turf grass. So it really kind of showed that these PGRs might be causing the problem. So the next question is, all right, well, what are we gonna do? We could not put PGRs on our greens, which is actually not a terrible idea. Uh, you can have good greens without applying PGRs. But if you wanna use PGRs so you can improve the plant health, uh, what are some of your options? Well, one would be keep the PGRs off the collars if at all possible. Using a GPS sprayer might allow for that. So your PGR app might get right into your cleanup and then stop. You might say, well, Bill, that's not gonna work for me because I have fungicides and fertilizers in the tank. True, but usually those fungicides and fertilizers last longer than your PGRs do. So you could apply to your collars and your greens with all those products, and then you could come back in for your next PGR only app and keep the PGR off the collar. If that's not an option, then we look at other types of treatments. And so in this study here, we have different recovery treatments. So right now I'm standing on a, a trim it plot with no recovery treatment versus the non-treated control versus Primo Max at 200 growing degree days. And we can see the discoloration in the trim it and in some in the Primo. It was worse, but because it's been so hot lately and the grass is growing so rapidly, we're seeing a lot of the, uh, uh, the regrowth and we're actually kind of coming out of that, that suppression. But there are some treatments we can do to help prevent some of this discoloration from happening. You know, one thing you might think is, is can we put down gibberellin, the straight hormone that, this, that these PGRs are blocking? And yes, it actually does a pretty nice job. If you look at this plot here, the trim it looks pretty darn good compared to the control that's not treated. The grass is growing faster. We're recovering from that, from that problem. This is a good curative treatment though, and you have to be very careful on rates. This is the high rate. It was applied a couple days ago. The grass is growing like crazy. If you would have applied the PGR onto uh, areas that had a lot more, um, it didn't have the PGR suppression, then we're gonna get a lot of regrowth and it could cause problems. So this is kind of your curative option. If you're looking for preventative options though, we found that just applying higher rates of fertilizer on your fairways and collars and your approaches can really help to overwhelm that PGR effect. That's what we see here. We're putting down about three times as much fertilizer as our control, about half of a pound every two weeks no collar decline symptoms. Other things we're looking at, you know, washing the PGR off works pretty well for the class A products like the Primo Max. We've tried reducing our mowing height last year that worked all right, this year, yeah, not as great. So when it really comes to figuring out how do we prevent this collar decline, let's think about preventing it with, you know, extra fertilizer applications, washing off the class A PGRs, Primo and a new. Um, and last resort, before you would have to go and resize your collars, Think about maybe using some of these GA products that have very low levels of gibberellin to, to, to promote some regrowth.